Good morning everyone. I am T. Shravan Rao, lecturer in physics from SG Government Polytechnic, Adilabad, Telangana. I would like to teach about friction, <coughs> the definition of friction, types of friction, coefficient of friction, methods or factors which influence the friction and methods of minimizing friction. So, friction plays a very prominent role in our day to day life. <coughs> If at all there is no friction, we cannot even walk on the road, we cannot ride a car and even we cannot hammer a nail into the wall. So friction plays a very prominent and a vital role in our day to day life. Coming to the aspect of friction, the definition of friction is the resistive force which opposes when the two surfaces, two bodies are in close contact or rub each other. And the types of frictions are static friction kinetic friction, rolling friction and fluid friction. The first aspect the static friction occurs when the two bodies are at rest and these two bodies are in close contact with each other. So <coughs> the example for a body which possess static friction is a body which is placed or a book which is placed on a bench and it is at stationary position which is not in movement and the next aspect is kinetic friction the kinetic friction is the force which is being produced by the body when it is in relative motion to the surface which is it is in contact and the same example <coughs> the board, uh, book which is placed on a table when we start to slide over it or apply a force on the book it just simply starts to move but uh, when we increase the force the book which is there on the table will start to move so which possess the kinetic friction and then the next one is uh, rolling friction rolling friction is uh, it occurs when a body is rolling on the surface especially uh, we can come across this in tires and also in the trolleys where there are uh, wheels and this is uh, about the rolling friction this we very much come across in a supermarket where we are given uh, trolleys to move <coughs> the commodities which we take and further the next aspect is the fluid friction fluid friction occurs on when a solid uh, body is moving on a fluid surface or on a gas. So these are the four types of frictions which we come across and next one is the coefficient of friction. Coefficient of friction is the measure of the degree of uh, friction which makes the body to come to rest position. So this uh, coefficient of friction or the measure of friction can be calculated or measured using a instrument called as tribometer and the coefficient of friction is there even for all the uh, three types of frictions apart from the fluid friction and in order to know the coefficient of friction we must be familiar about the normal reaction. Normal reaction is the force which is perpendicular to the surface uh, on the body which is acting the force which is acting on the body and it is uh, as we are saying that it is normal reaction normal reaction is the terminology from uh, uh, geometry which uh, explains about the direction of the force which is in normal to the plane and uh, coming to the coefficient of static friction mu s it is denoted with mu s <coughs> mu s is uh, equal to f s by r f s is the static frictional force and R is the normal reaction and still further the next aspect <coughs> the kinetic friction kinetic friction coefficient of the kinetic friction is mu k and it is equal to F k by R F k is the kinetic frictional force and R is the normal reaction as usual and then next uh, the rolling friction rolling friction the uh, coefficient of rolling friction is mu k it is equal to f k by r f k is the force of uh, i'm sorry f r is the force 
of rolling friction by the normal reaction. So, in turn the coefficients of these frictions, <coughs> the rolling coefficient of friction is very less compared to the rest of the two. So, we can write an equation as mu r is less than mu k is less than mu s and then the factors which affect the friction are temperature, lubricants which we are using and the surfaces and the body which are in contact to each other. These play or these influence the friction and the methods of minimizing the friction are the roughness or smoothness of the surface which is, a, uh, which is in it contact and then the uh, polishing, ball bearings and streamlining are the methods of minimizing friction. Thank you.